Drebko never reached his full NBA potential, but this is a man who punched Jamal McGlure in a preseason game. He had a fire, he had a drive, he had a will to compete that he was never quite able to live up to. His rookie year is maybe his best season? He was able to fit in and play with the remnants of the 04 championship team in 2010 and provide much needed spacing. His sophomore year, he would miss entirely tearing his Achilles, and then the subsequent years, he kind of saw his role continue to get diminished and diminished, even as he became a better floor spacer. Jarebko started most of the games his rookie season. By 2014, he's completely out of the starting lineup. And from 14 really to the end of his career, he's a little used bench shooting specialist, hitting about 39% of his three-point shots. After his NBA career, Jonas decided to sign with a Russian EuroLeague team. He continued to play for them for some time and then had his contract terminated due to personal reasons and then signed with Seska Moscow after Russia invaded Ukraine, which got him banned from the Swedish national team. 